My name is Bernadette Tacey, and I just graduated with my MA from Fresno State, and I'm also the president of Fresno Pro-Life Future. I strongly oppose this bill, and I'd like to give my top three reasons why this bill contradicts itself. Number one, this is supposed to be about access, but the bill still places the mandate on all public universities, even though many schools have an abortion pill provider within just a few miles of the campuses. Yet, there has been no discussion of an exemption for schools like these. Number two, Estimates for time taken to travel to the abortion pill provider are based on public transportation, taking much more time than, say, an Uber. Of course, an Uber has a small charge, but is much faster than the 30-minute bus route estimate presented by proponents of the bill. Last year, the author stated that this Uber cost would be more of a burden. However, for one thing, if you're on Medi-Cal, transportation services are provided for free, and the CSU and UC systems both state in appropriations committee analyses both last year and this year that the funds for SB 24 are insufficient by the millions and that the cost would likely fall to the students. So although this bill should be saving us from spending more money on an Uber, it will actually cost us more in our mandatory student fees. Number three, Dr. Daniel Grossman, who has testified in support of this bill several times, co-authored an article stating that the failure rate of these pills is between 3 and over 15 percent. This number varies depending on how far along the woman is in her pregnancy. So if all of the students take the pills in the sixth week of pregnancy, there might be a 3 percent fail rate. But if they're in the ninth week of pregnancy, it might be over 15 percent. And if we go with the author's estimate of 500 students using this service each month, this means that anywhere between 15 and 75 girls would need a follow-up surgical abortion each month. Several pro-choice individuals have signed our petition against this bill, and our own former pro-choice Governor Brown vetoed this bill because it is irresponsible and unnecessary. There are more questions than answers regarding this bill, and because of that, I respectfully ask for your no vote or abstain from voting. Thank you.